How to spot the Antichrist spirit in someone. 1 John 2, 18 through 19. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now there are many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, that they might be made manifest, that they were not all of us. There are many who are concerned about the Antichrist. We all know he is coming. We all know that he will take center stage on the history of mankind. We all know that the Antichrist will not operate alone, but will have messengers working with him and for him. The question is, is the Antichrist alive here on earth already? The truth is, we do not know for sure. Some Bible commenters speculate that he is already on the earth, but the truth is, all that is, is speculation. One that we do know for sure is that he is coming. And we also know for sure that his spirit is on earth. And just like someone can be filled with the Holy Spirit, an individual can be filled with the spirit of the Antichrist. 1 John 4, 2-3 This is how you can recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. This is one of the ways you can recognize what spirit a person is filled with. The truth is we are either filled with the spirit of God or we are filled with a spirit that is not of God. There is a real Antichrist spirit that is in the world. And not only is it in the world, it is in churches. For instance, I have seen teachings from ministers that attempt to preach the gospel message in ways that relate to other religions, stating that God the Father is at the top of the mountain, and the religion we choose is just one path from many different paths that lead to the same destination at the top of the mountain. In other words, many roads leading to one destination. This is one of the many doctrines that is sponsored by the Antichrist, a doctrine that attempts to demote Jesus as being simply one of the many ways to salvation. No, 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 Jesus is the only way. He said himself clearly, I am the way. He did not say, I am one of the ways, neither did he say, I possibly am the way. He said it clearly and definitively, I am the way. He left no room for anyone to be lost in translation or anyone to read in between the lines. John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I honestly believe that the spirit of the Antichrist is already in some churches, and some ministers work on the Antichrist's behalf. And I would go as far as saying that when the mark of the beast comes, these ministers will endorse the Antichrist and his mark. I genuinely believe that when the mark of the beast is introduced to the world, these ministers will stand up on their pulpits and encourage people to take the mark of the beast, because rather than them being led by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, they are energized by the very Spirit of the Antichrist. So how can I spot that someone has the Antichrist spirit? Look at how the person speaks of Jesus Christ. Do they promote Jesus Christ into being a glorified prophet? Do they demote Jesus Christ into being a good man with good moral values? Does the person not acknowledge Jesus Christ as God? These are all signs that you are dealing with the Antichrist spirit. Yes, Jesus was a prophet, but nevertheless he was and still is God. Yes, Jesus was a good man who taught about good morals, but nevertheless he was and still is God. If a person is trying to strip away the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ, know that you are dealing with an antichrist spirit. If a person is trying to steer your worship elsewhere other than the Lord Jesus Christ, know that you are dealing with the antichrist spirit. At its very core, the Antichrist spirit attempts to divert worship and adoration from the Lord Jesus Christ elsewhere. Even when a preacher preaches, listen to them. Are they constantly preaching a man-centered gospel or a Christ-centered gospel? The Bible ends by exalting the Lord Jesus Christ, and there is no better way to end the Word of God than exalting the Son of the living God. The Bible is about Jesus Christ. Salvation is about Jesus Christ. Our life as believers is because of Jesus Christ. It's all about him. He is the giver of life, and everything flows from him. For in him we live and move and have our being. One of the signs that Apostle John gave us in identifying someone with the Antichrist spirit is what he recorded in 1 John 2, 22 through 23, which says, 
Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. You see, it is a fact that Jesus is the Son of God and that he is Christ. In Matthew 16, 16 through 17, Peter declared by divine revelation that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. This is a great litmus test. Watch out. If you ever find anyone attempting to disprove the fact that Jesus is the Son of God, know without doubt that the spirit of the Antichrist has taken this person over. There are different elements of quote-unquote progressive Christianity that is attempting to push Jesus Christ out of the way and introduce different forms of spirituality to usher in a new wave of Christianity. But this movement is not sponsored by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will always draw you closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit will always pull you closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is why elements surrounding progressive Christianity is so dangerous because it is ushering people not to look at Jesus Christ, but rather look at alternatives. But salvation does not have alternatives. There is one way and one route, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And any beliefs that attempt to show you another route that is not Jesus Christ is not from the Holy Spirit. John 15, 26. When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who goes forth from the Father, he will bear witness concerning me. Look at what the Bible says. The Holy Spirit will bear witness of me. This is what we need to know about the Holy Spirit. Anything that is sponsored by the Holy Spirit draws you to a closer intimacy with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit brings you closer to Jesus. Anything that pushes you further away to Jesus Christ is from a spirit of the Antichrist. The Holy Spirit draws you closer to God the Son, because God the Son is the way to God the Father. John 1.18 No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. We come to know God the Father through the Lord Jesus Christ. If you ever find people that get offended when you mention the name of Jesus, you need not make further inquiries to know that you are dealing with the Antichrist spirit. People with Antichrist spirits are irritated and uncomfortable each time you bring Jesus Christ into any matter. Forget about that man, they'd say, or can't you speak without having to mention Jesus Christ? This is one of the reasons we know that the New Age movement is Antichrist in nature. Jesus is seen as an exceptional master, or at their best, Jesus is regarded as the greatest of God's creation. This is the greatest error to believe in the Christian faith walk. The foundation and progress of our salvation is founded upon the truth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who loved us and died for our sins. Anyone who speaks others has an antichrist spirit. Again, 1 John 4, 2-3 says, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. It is one thing to believe that Jesus came in the flesh to die for our sins, and it is another thing to believe that he is the very Son of God. There are those who do not only disclaim the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. They also claim that Jesus did not come physically to the earth to purchase our salvation with his blood. If one of the ways we know that someone has the Spirit of God is that they will accept and preach that Jesus came physically to die for our sins, then we can know those with Antichrist spirit by the fact that they attempt to disprove that Jesus was here physically and that he actually died to save us. Don't allow yourself to be deceived. We live in an age of deception. As Jesus teaches us from Matthew 24, 4, there will be high deception in the last days. Therefore, we must be careful not to believe a lie. We must learn to judge every word spoke to us like the believers in Berea who would not only listen to a message, but will get back and search the scriptures to be sure whether these things are true or not. Acts 17.11 now, the Berean Jews were of more noble character than those in Thessalonica, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. When someone preaches to you, examine them by the word of God. We must be very watchful and discerning 
so that we will not accept falsehood as truth. 1 Peter 5, 8 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. If you cannot identify false spirits, the spirit of the Antichrist, and you obey it, there is a punishment for it. You are a Christian who is expected to be grounded in the Word of God. You are a Christian, and you ought to be strong in Jesus. Matthew 7, 24 and 25 Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. If you build on the word of God, you are building on Jesus. And when the spirit of the Antichrist comes to deceive you, you will stand strong. The punishment for worshipping the spirit of the Antichrist is eternal. If you allow yourself to be deceived by them, you will face their judgment too. If you don't run today, you will meet the wrath of God.